So, um, hello everybody. Um, uh, we are very pleased to be here today to talk about uh, how uh, we have built a framework for uh, industrialized, uh, industrializing API production at the French Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, we show uh, our strategy uh, um, to introduce uh, an, NP an API manager in our data center and um, the tools we have chosen uh, for uh, development teams. I'm uh, Sylvain, I'm a technical uh, architect and uh, here is my colleague uh, Frédéric. Uh, it's, uh, it's an innovation expert and we work together in a um, cross uh, IT department at the French Ministry of Agriculture. Uh, okay, hello. So um, I just explained the innovation expert. I, uh, I supervise technical studies to introduce technological transformations into our IT department. Uh, our mission is to, to offer transverse solutions for other teams to master and industrialize the development of their applications. And uh, these apps are built for civil servants and public service users. That's what we do. Um, the French Ministry of uh, Agriculture has a large scope of mission. Uh, it ensures uh, economic development, regulation, supervision, and uh, taxation for several domains you, you can see here. Uh, we um, also have a statistics team that produces analysis and data sets. It's a big, uh, big team. And so uh, we produce many types of high value data. One word. Um, uh, under the French government. The French government is leading a vast program named uh, Action Public uh, 2022 uh, to transform public services. There is three goals you can see here. Improve quality of public services, provide modernized work uh, environment for public servants, and uh, control public spending by optimizing resources. And uh, to succeed this program, the French administration is carrying out a digital transformation project uh, and uh, clearly, the open data system is key to realize this uh, transformation. So why API? So we have various goals for using APIs, uh, interoperability, and stop specific communications, um, modularity and scalability for our applications. We want to reuse APIs from other companies. Um, of course, provide open data through APIs and uh, exchange with partner in uh, another way than uh, file transfer. Uh, so uh, clearly, there will be uh, a lot of API rapidly. So this is why we must be able to, to guide and align IT teams to, to build APIs. Um, we know that APIs are not an exclusive technical topic and uh, require the entire company to adopt new approaches for its uh, information systems. Um, but it's a real challenge for our IT teams. Indeed, the entire software production ecosystem needs to be redesigned. Uh, infrastructure uh, and network, uh, building phase, deployment and operation, and of course there are new security constraints to, to consider. So to master and homogenize API applications, we have uh, industrialized uh, two technical topics. First, um, normative framework to develop APIs, and uh, at the infrastructure level, we have uh, automate the deployment. So let Sylvain explain you how we did that. Um, uh, at the French Ministry uh, of Agriculture, we try to minimize uh, the technology dispersion. Uh, so we mainly use uh, Java technology to develop applications. Uh, this. Uh, industrialization of API allowed us uh, to use a new a unique framework built uh, uh, with uh, Spring Boot, Spring and uh, Spring Cloud uh, for all projects. We choose uh, Spring technology because it's well known uh, by IT uh, system providers. Many projects uh, already use it and uh, it has a large uh, community and support. We also develop a custom uh, toolbox to um, 
containing uh, libraries to share connectors and uh, common behaviors with uh, our uh, infrastructure, like uh, uh, mail, single sign-all, or, or file storage. Uh, these libraries uh, give us uh, the opportunity to integrate uh, ministry-specific um, components and uh, standardize uh, uniform development practices in order to respect uh, clean code philosophy. So, uh, all our API uh, development leans on uh, Spring Boot and uh, this uh, toolbox. For um, API uh, development uh, lifecycle, we provide many things to help develop APIs. We, um, we use a Swagger Editor to add elements to specifications. We provide uh, an archetype uh, to generate a skeleton application uh, with libraries and uh, ministry context. We provide also support uh, and documentation uh, to help uh, develop a APIs. And finally, we have a common uh, software factory with uh, Subversion, Jenkins, and uh, Artifactory. So all these process make uh, the production of API uh, effective. We also work on uh, the integration of a new component uh, to secure, control, and limit the usage of API. After a benchmark around uh, the API uh, manager market, uh, we have implemented and tested uh, TAC. Uh, and uh, now TAC is fully integrated in our API uh, deployment lifecycle. We automate two operations with Rundeck and uh, Ansible. The fir first, we deploy uh, Warfi from Artifactory on a Wildfly uh, production server. And uh, then we deploy uh, API configuration uh, from Subversion um, in a Tyke uh, API Manager. We uh, use a technical uh, API of um, Tyke to propagate uh, API configuration. And uh, in addition to deploying APIs, uh, API Manager instance creation has been uh, industrialized. Uh, we think that uh, API Manager is a great tool to delegate uh, uh, management and uh, access control uh, to non-developer people. And uh, so um, these people can control and use of their APIs. Now we are able to deploy a full instance of Tyke uh, in production in, a, in an automated way with Ansible. Uh, each, instant, each, each instance is connected uh, with uh, our Elastic stack to uh, get logs uh, and supervision by Nagios uh, is also integrated. It's a new service in our data center to provide and consume uh, APIs. This work uh, allows us to easily deploy uh, API manager instances for separate entities and uh, in, uh, for different uh, environments. Uh, we use Tyke uh, in uh, three separate ways uh, to consume uh, API from Internet, to provide API uh, on Internet, and also to provide uh, data and service uh, in uh, intranet. To consume uh, API uh, from internet, we use the single instance to control uh, network uh, flow, um, the, the opening on ne of net network flow, and uh, uh, to allow uh, the control of consumption and uh, share the same access key for uh, all, the, all the application of the ministry. When, uh, when we deploy uh, API, uh, uh, it can be provided uh, both uh, uh, on a type to, to internet or uh, on a type uh, 
in uh, intranet. Uh, this is a, a security choice. Uh, uh, this choice is a security motivation. Uh, with this strategy, uh, all use cases uh, are covered and uh, to provide and consume uh, API uh, in uh, our data center. And uh, now, uh, here we, you, we are uh, an example with uh, EFT. Uh, so EFT is um, an application uh, uh, to calculate an indicator of phytosanitary uh, treatment. This is uh, an open ap API. And um, we have uh, uh, its archi it, uh, arch architecture. So uh, the um, API backend uh, is uh, exposed on type to uh, go through type uh, to, uh, cons to consume uh, an external API uh, from Europe. And uh, the backend is uh, exposed on a type uh, for our front end uh, developed in Angular and uh, also for private company. So, a uh, private company um, can use uh, our API and we um, provide uh, Swagger documentation on a French portal, uh, uh, a French API portal, uh, api.gov.fr. So um, de defining tools and architecture uh, is good, but it is not uh, enough uh, to master our APIs production. So we also work on common rules. The domains are the main ones. Uh, are, are every API must be provided behind the tag. Um, no API without tag. Uh, when we provide an uh, open API, uh, an environment is required. Uh, this allows to measure the use that makes it. Um, for example, URLs are standardized, or the versioning strategy is the same for all teams. Uh, we include the major version number in the URL. And of course, there, there's more models. So with uh, standard, standardization rules, we can control our API management. And finally, we have set up a support system. We've got a center of technical expertise to guide projects um, in designing APIs and architectures specific to the needs. Uh, and the security officer is associated with that. Uh, we've worked with, with him to enhance the usual security issues for application to include specific questions about APIs. Uh, all API projects are evaluated. We check the nature of the data to provide. We also check the legal risks related to the conditions of, uh, of use. And moreover, before using an external API, we control the provider and try to find out if the data, the data is uh, reliable. So to conclude, um, we can say that building a new approach to the design of digital public services requires open data systems. And APIs are the good way for this goal. So we'll certainly deploy a lot of APIs in the next years. But it's a technically complex issue because we have to, to rethink all the tools and methods. Uh, so at the Ministry of uh, Agriculture, we have uh, industrialized uh, our capacity to produce APIs. Uh, we have implemented Type API Manager, built a new framework to develop, fix architecture and deployment rules, and finally set up a center of expertise to support teams. Uh, some questions are still open. How to work with cloud patterns tomorrow? Uh, we think about Docker, Kubernetes, and so on. Uh, and perhaps tomorrow uh, there will be a technical French administration API platform, uh, or why not a platform at the European level. So if it happens, we'll sure to integrate them. Well, thank you for your attention. Thank you.